hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming a what is in my travel makeup bag because i'm going to turkey on the 25th of july and i thought this would be a video that i'd find fun to film and you guys would like to see and i've also got a few new makeup products that i'm really excited to share with you and there'll be a few old ones that you would have seen before so let's just get straight into what is in my makeup bag so this is the makeup bag that i'm going to be taking it's just a clear one that came in a set of three from primark we've used the other two because they're bigger for our sun creams and lotions but this one i'm using for my makeup just in case i want to put some into the hand luggage then i can but i know that you can't take many liquids obviously because of the limit but i want to try and keep my powders with me because i'm scared they're going to get smashed in the suitcase so yeah it's just in here normally i have it in a victoria's secret one but this one's slightly bigger so i could fit more makeup in it so let's get started and see what's inside so the first thing i have is the rival london fix and protect pro primer and i also like to use this as a moisturizer as it's really really good and I love the Rimmel London primers, all of them are amazing, they keep your makeup on so good and obviously your skin dries out a lot when you're in the air. So this is what it looks like, it's just the blue one if you're interested in looking for it but I think this is really good. It says that it soothes, resurfaces, brightens, mattifies and protects your skin so it's really good. Next I have two mascaras, now you're probably thinking that two mascaras is a lot just for 10 days but this one's practically dried out, this is the Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express Mascara, I've had this for ages, you probably would have seen this in one of my hauls ages ago but it's really dried out, I, it's still got some product in it if you really scrape it around but I like to use this to like declump my lashes um, so yeah this one's really good but this is just what it looks like and I really like that one. Recently, I've just got this new one, which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational, and I got this because my friend Ellie Bennett was raving about it, and Zoella was raving about it, and everyone's raving about it, so I thought I'd try it out. And nothing seems to get my lashes to go up, so hopefully this will. Um, so this is what the, oh, don't want that dripping. This is what the one looks like. And then this is the packaging and it's just so pretty and I'm really excited to try this one out. By the way, all the prices will be on the website. I mostly get my makeup from Boots and Superdrug but I'll put all the links to the products I'm talking about in the description if I remember. Next I have two concealers, you're probably thinking why have you got two? Basically I use this one, the Rimmel Wake Me Up which is in number 10 ivory for when I'm not tan so I use it every day now and I'll use it when I first get there just to you know use it until I tan so I use this one and then when I get a bit darker I will use the collection last imperfection which is in number two cool medium and I remember this one being really good so at least I have two colours then for any skin tone that my skin decides to go and then this is what this one looks like if I've got it the right way up. Moving on to lip products, I've got two um, Maybelline baby lips, the first one is in Hydrate, I love the packaging of all of these and these two have to be my favourite baby lips that I own, this one is really hydrating hence the name and it's also really good if the sun is obviously drying out your lips so I thought I'd take this one. So that's what it looks like and it's literally just when you open it it's clear because it doesn't add any colour to your lips. The next baby lips I have is in Cherry Me and I thought I'd take this just if I want a little tint of colour to my lips. It's not as dark as it looks, it comes out like a lighter shade of this but it's still red and obviously the more you put on the more dark it can be but this is what it looks like. just looks like that and then with the lid on obviously again the packaging is so pretty and it looks like that so moving on to lipsticks slash lip creams the first lipstick I have is from MUA I'm not really a lipstick person so I'm not really into high-end or high brand lipsticks this one was literally a pound and I've had it for so long if you go back to like the end of my channel beginning of my channel you will see that I hauled this this is this no I don't think this is the same one actually because I lost that one and I didn't use it all but this is in shade 11 
this is what it looks like it's kind of like a neutral color and I really really like it I think it goes with every single outfit so that's why I chose this one and it's only a pound I'm so excited about this lip cream you don't even understand so the reason why I did an online order on Boots was for this and I also ordered the Lash Sensational with it so then I didn't pay for packaging and posting for one item but in my Boots we do not have a NYX counter so I went online, I've seen everyone talking about this and the person who most inspired me to get a NYX um, lip cream is Saffron Barker because she's just beautiful and I love her so I thought I'd get one. This is in Stockholm, Stockholm? Stockholm, Stockholm, how do you say it? Stockholm. Stockholm, that's the colour, they're all named after places, but oh my god, this is the most beautiful thing ever and I love it so much, you don't even understand. This is what it looks like, it's so pretty, it looks darker in the packaging than it actually is, obviously you will see the swatches, but um, oh my god it's so lovely it's so creamy it smells i can't even describe the smell it smells like really sweet and like it's meant to be scented i don't know if it is or not this will probably not focus so this is the color these come in so many amazing different colors so i can't wait to try the rest of them now i know that these are amazing ah thumbs up if you want to see a holiday makeup look or comment down below if you want to see a holiday makeup look using this so now i'm moving on to like the powders and the palettes so i don't even know where to start with this i'm so excited so i have my ps love brow kit this is absolutely amazing for the price this is actually from primark if you don't know that the brand for the primark makeup is P.S. Love, although they are coming out with a new makeup range and I'm so excited for it. But this is this one. This is a wax. This is a lighter colour and then I use this dark colour as well with the wax and it's absolutely incredible for the price and I love it. So I'm taking that. Then I have my favourite highlight and contour kit ever. It's the Collection Highlight and Sculpt Kit. So I think you get so much product with this it's insane this was in um zoella's recent video of her drugstore favorites and i cannot agree with her anymore this is incredible it doesn't even look like i've used it that much but i don't know i'm excited to use it on holiday because the um contour color is it it doesn't actually say the colors on it but this colour isn't even that orange or that dark. So if you use this colour to lightly um, bronze, then I think it'll look really good because it's not too orange or too brown or too dark. So that's why I really like that. But I don't think I'm going to be using the highlight too much in this as I'm going to be taking my new MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmering Highlighter, which is in Pink Shimmer. This is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't tried it out yet, but I've swatched it and the colour is beautiful. And I've seen Chloe Rains use, use it. Just look at it. It's absolutely stunning. I will do full swatches after every clip, which you probably would have realised by now. But I didn't even say that I was going to do that, but I am. Then I'll be taking the Rimmel London Clear Complexion Powder. Again, I think this is an essential. I love powder. This is a... Um, transparent one so it's gonna be really good if I tan so I'm really excited for this this is what it is and I just think it's nice to have a powder because I'm such a powder girl we are on to the last two things in the bag ah so this one is the MUA eyeshadow palette in undressed now I rarely wear eyeshadow but I really want to get into it you can see that I've played around with these colours quite a bit but these are the colours they are absolutely gorgeous I literally think that this one, this one, this one this one is so pretty and it will just make such a nice little summery shimmery look because this palette is a mixture of shimmers and mattes which is amazing and it's not too big so yeah and then it has the colours on the back there 
I don't know if you can see that, it's really small writing. But this is like four pounds or something, it's such good value for the money and yes. For someone who doesn't wear eyeshadow that much as well, I really like it. The last makeup product is my blush. This is my Holy Grail blush because I use all the MUA blushes. They're a pound and they are so pigmented, I'm not even kidding. So. This is what it looks like. I normally go between the shade Cupcake and Candy Floss, but this is more of a corally summer colour, so I thought I'd take this one. And oh my god, as I said, I love it. Don't know really what else to say about it. This is what it looks like, and I'm going to be taking that with me too. That is everything I have to show you in my travel makeup bag. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what travel videos you would like to see don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel so you are ready for the travel vlogs yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye you don't keep tapping it why auto focus is for a reason If you could see him having a strop right now. I'm keeping this in. <laughs> what not... is up with this focusing today? It's because you tap it when it don't need to be tapping. Don't need to be tapping, y'all. Yeah, don't tap it because it takes a minute to focus. You can't be like, oh, right, it's not doing it. Yeah, so, so I just not tap it at all? No, tap it when it, do when it takes a while. Okay. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I'm trying to film. <laughs> okay, you can stop laughing. You're wasting out. my battery. It's I'm on two bars. This is like a thing that me and Christian kind of collect and share. It might be really sad, but I think they're so cute. This is the little elephant one. It's the TY. It's called the Tiny TY's Collection. These are like the little mini ones, and they're so cute.